Today's video is in your 1D Intro to Proportional Thinking Packet. And yes, we're going to talk about proportions. So the problem of the day here on page 1, you can determine if two ratios are equivalent by looking at both of them in their simplest form or by simplifying. Hint, there is something that is the same when ratios are equivalent. Look at the numbers and how they compare across the fractions. The hint is that if you multiply the cross products um, and the product of the means, uh, which is 8 times 5, equals the product of the extremes, which is 4 times 10. This is, yes, we know they both reduce to 1 half, but the product of the means, the cross products, will also equal each other because I get 40 equals 40. Same with 4 to 6 and 6 to 9. 6 times 6, that's 36. And 4 times 9, that's also 36. So the cross products, the, what's called the product of the means, does equal the product of the extremes. That's also true when um, ratios are equivalent. The opposite must also be true. 2 to 5 is not equivalent to 4 to 7 because if they are simplified, they are not equal. And 2 to 5 and 4 to 7, they're not going to be equal because 7 times 2, or 2 times 7 is 14, and 4 times 5, they are not the same cross product. They do not equal each other. A proportion is a statement that says the two ratios are equal. If a heart beats eight times every five seconds, then it should beat 24 times every 15 seconds. Multiplying both parts of the ratio by three, you would get that 24 times in 15 seconds. So yes, eight times 15, which is uh, 120, is the same as five times 24, which is also 120. So the product of the means does equal the product of the extremes. Product of the means equals the product of the extremes. And the means and the extremes are positions within the ratio. So tell which ratios form a proportion. Use the cross product test. So the product of the means here in uh, the first one, 7 times 20. Those are the means. Because if I wrote them like this, they're kind of in the middle of the ratio. Here's the means. Here's the extremes. They're on the ends. So that's why it's called the product of the means equals the product of the extremes. And yes, 7 times 20, which is 140, does equal 4 times 35, which is 140. So yes, um, use the cross part. Tell which ratios form a proportion. This answer for number one is yes, they do. The product of the means does equal the product of the extremes. In uh, number two, the product of the means 2 times 16, that's 32. And 3 times 10, oh, they don't equal each other, so this answer is no. The product of the means in number three, 24 times 15, that's 360. And 9 times 40, oh, yep, that's 360. So that is a true statement. This is a proportion. These ratios do form a proportional relationship. In the last one, number four, the product of the means 20 times 20. Well, I know this one's going to be a no because 20 and 20 end in a zero, so that's going to be 400. 
and 32 and 12 both end in 2, so that answer is going to end in a 4, which is 384. They do not equal to each other, the product of the means, 400, and the product, multiplying 12 times 32 equals 384, product of the extremes, they do not equal each other, so no, they do not form a proportional relationship. You can use what you know about cross products to solve a proportion. So what number n over 6 is in the same ratio as 14 to 4? Well, find the cross products. So the product of means 6 times 14 has to equal the product of the extremes 4 times n. Well, 6 times 14, that's 84, has to equal 4 n's. If I divide by 4 on both sides, I'm going to get that that is 21 equals that n. Uh, find the cross product. So 5 times 8, that's 40, has to equal 12 times n. Well, if I divide 40 by 12, I'm going to get that n equals 40 divided by 12. So I get 10 thirds, same thing as 3 and 1 third is n. So 3 and 1 third is to 5. This is what this is saying. 3 and 1 third is to 5 as 8 is to 12. They're in the same ratio. Next page. Proportional thinking. Sometimes you can solve a problem by writing a proportion. There are three boys for every two girls at the Oak Hill Middle School. If there are 70 seventh grade girls, how many seventh grade boys do you think there are? So the cross products, product of the means, 2 times n, you can see it here, that's 2n, has to equal the product of the extremes, 3 times 70, which is 210. To solve that, I would divide by 2 and I get Oh, there must be 105 boys. And yes, you can check. Is 3 to 2 the same thing as 105 to 70? Well, 2 times 105 is 210. 3 times 70 is 210. So yes, that's true. In a bag of mixed nuts, there are six peanuts for every cashews. How many cashews are there if there are 225 peanuts? So you have to set up the proportion so that it's consistent. Notice the labels, the ratio labels here. Peanuts to cashews, 6 to 4. So peanuts in the second ratio has to be in the numerator position. If there are 225 of those peanuts, how many cashews? I don't know. I'm going to put N or X or C for cashews. doesn't really matter. So 4 times 225 has to equal, product of the means has to equal the product of the extreme, 6 times N. Well, 4 times 225 is 900. Has to equal 6 times what number? I don't know. I'll divide by 6 to figure that out. And you get 150 has to equal those nuts or those cashews. So there must be 150 cashews in that mix. Number two, in a taste test between two brands of bottled water, four out of every five people preferred brand A to brand B. How many people took the test if 88 people preferred brand A? Oh, how many people took the test? Doesn't say how many people like brand B. Hmm? Doesn't say that. How many people took the test? So I need a total number here, which is why you can see the word ratio says brand A to the total. Oh, if four out of every five people, so four out of every five, five was the total people. How many people took the test if 88 people preferred brand A? Well, brand A was 88. So how many people preferred brand B or the or totals, right? How many total, ah, how many total people were there? Maybe I'll use T for total. So 5 times 88 has to equal 4 times T. Well, 5 times 88, that's 440, 
equals 4 times some number t, the total. Well, I'm going to divide by 4 to get that answer. Then I get 110 has to equal that total, right? 110 total people.